Dear Gasman of 104th and family, I take it that when you say the Ben and Jerry's decision to stop operating in the illegal settlements doesn't reflect your views, that your values encourage displacement, that you are comfortable with the idea that if you made the choice to relocate to the occupied territories, you will be given a home. You will be given a home that for generations has the same family and children, a people who bleed when cut, who feel and who hurt, who hold hopes and dreams, who are then pushed to the streets and not even the familiar streets of their own neighborhood, but to nowhere, to be made refugees within their own borders. I take it when you espouse community and value it so deeply that you understand what it might mean that entire communities are torn apart consistently by state-sanctioned violence. That the local grocer wakes up to find his produce thrown on the street by an occupying soldier. That the local barber no longer has a shop because his family has been forced to leave. Not driven out by gentrification, which is painful enough for those who know, but forced at gunpoint to hand over lock and key and who cares about deed because those are never honored anyway. I take it when you say that you are proud and active supporters of the state of Israel, that your support extends to the way they blackmail closeted Palestinian homosexuals into spying on their own community or risk being outed. And that your support extends to the brutal daily harassment of Palestinians at the hundreds of military checkpoints that limit their option to move freely from one neighborhood to the next. I take it you wouldn't mind if someone blocked you from venturing east of Broadway made it impossible for you to lounge in Central Park or head west to stroll along the Hudson, that you wouldn't mind your physical views being obstructed, that you view it as acceptable that women die giving birth at these checkpoints because the occupying forces won't even let them pass to make it to a hospital, that you view it as acceptable that children are killed at other children's funerals. Are those the views you were trying to articulate when you claim the only choice your patrons should have to make is chocolate sprinkles or rainbows? Perhaps you will try to correct me, to tell me that isn't the Israel you know, that you don't think a genocide is taking place. It is. That there is no history of apartheid. There is. That they are not actively ethnic cleansing Palestinians. They are. Or perhaps you will try to reframe this conversation to make the real victims out to be the aggressors, they're not. To make it sound like I'm saying something else entirely, I'm not. To make it seem like you're being personally attacked, you're not. Isn't that the rebuttal though? The talking point taught to shut down a conversation about facts many are not ready to face, about how electricity is rationed, how water is withheld, how caloric needs are calculated, then subtracted from what is made available, then restricted just long enough to make sure Palestinians starve, just not to death. And that is what you will be funding with your 10% donation. Not education, but occupation. Brutal, cruel, and criminal occupation of human beings who also would rather simply choose toppings on their favorite ice creams. Salam. Shalom. Peace be upon you and yours.